good morning children you are most welcome to the language class today we are starting chapter 11 modals can shall so what are modals modals are special type of auxiliary verbs what are auxiliary verbs auxiliary verbs that help a main verb now one by one i am clearing what is main verb main verb is the doing word or the, the verb shows us any action for example write do walk sing etc okay and the helping uh, the verb that helps them they are called helping verb or auxiliary verb they are am is are was were has have had do did and there are more more auxiliary verbs are there they are called can shall will may must could should would might okay so they are used for some special special work <clears throat> that we will read in th- this chapter read the passage and underline the auxiliary verbs remember that any verb that helps a main verb is an auxiliary verb every day is an opportunity is auxiliary verb underline it to do some things you have never done before here have is an auxiliary verb you can go to a new place can auxiliary verb you can make new friends can auxiliary verb you may read a new book may auxiliary verb to do new things you should be imaginative and adventurous should auxiliary verb so underline all those words next let's learn there are a few new auxiliary verbs in the passage above can may and should like other auxiliary verbs they also help the main verbs can may and should are a special type of auxiliary verbs they are called modal auxiliary verbs or simply modals here is a list of modals with their family members <coughs> so can may and should are the special auxiliary verbs we use them for the special things and these are called modal auxiliary verbs or we can say only modals <coughs> so here is the list of the family can family have can and could shall family have shall should will family have will and would may family have the may might must family only must can shall will and may is used for the present tense showing the present tense could should would might shows the past tense we will learn about the first two families here in this chapter we will learn about two families can shall that means can could shall should these things we will read in this chapter look at these sentences they are followed by the function of can in each can you pass the salt please so it is used for request <coughs> for requesting something we use can she can dance on stage this is the ability ability of doing something ability means to perform something the can anyone can do well in the life that is possibility it, it is possible that it can be okay you can go to saris ka if you do well in your exam this is permission so we use can to give to request someone to show the ability to show the possibility and to show the permission to give the permission okay next read each sentence carefully and write the function of can in each so see here i can ride a horse this is an ability okay we can play with my brother on the terrace this is a possibility 
I can stay out till 7 pm. This is a permission. Can you hand me the stapler? This is a request. Any child can grow up to be the president. It is a possibility. Okay, we will do it in the book. We can use the word not with can. Notice the spelling cannot. When we speak, we normally use the shortened form can't. The can't means cannot. It is a shortened form of cannot. When we are using not, we are joining not with the word can. That means not. It is showing the negative sentence. That means not able to. Not giving. You cannot go there. That is you are not giving the permission. Permission but not giving. You are just stopping it. You are saying no, negative. So, not is used to show the negative one. We can also use its past tense form. Could, could not or couldn't. Therefore, we can use can, cannot, can't in the present form and past tense forms could, could not, couldn't in some situations. The functions of could and couldn't have mentioned in the brackets in the following sentences. Examples, I couldn't pass the driving test. <coughs> Mention of ability here not being able to do something. So, in the past it is showing that not be able. Okay. You said you could run 5 km when you were younger. That means past ability. It is also could, couldn't. Both are used for the past ability. So, could is used for the past. Okay. One is used that not be able. Another is ability. Okay. Next. Read the sentences below. Change them into their past and negative forms. One has been done for you. I can ride a horse. I could ride a horse. I cannot ride a horse. Negative. <clears throat> Next. We can play with my brother on the terrace. We could play with my brother on the terrace past. And we cannot ride. We cannot play with my brother on the terrace. It is a negative. So, this portion you will do in the copy. Because there is not enough space to do in the book. This part you will do in the copy. So next number 3. You can stay out till 7 pm. So you could stay out till 7 pm. In the bracket you will write past. You cannot stay out till 7 pm. Negative. In two lines you will write this. Number 4, 5, 6 you will do by yourself. Next. <coughs> Let's learn. We will now learn the uses of shall. We will learn the uses of shall. Read the sentences below. Notice how shall has been used in each sentence. To ask a question for specific information. Shall I keep the juice ready? So it is asking for a information that is specific. She, if she, he, if whom it is asking, if he, he, will, he or she will say yes, then only juice will be made. For a specific thing, for making the juice, we are seeking the permission. We are asking the permission. So, for the specific thing, to ask a question for specific information, we use shall. To suggest something, I don't want to study now. Shall we play badminton? So, it is suggestion. I don't want to study now. Shall we play badminton? So, it is an option that I am not liking to study. So, shall we play badminton? So, this is an option. Okay. To announce something definite. Definitely, this will happen within few minutes, within few hours, within few days. That, they, that will be happen. That means the announce of the examination. That we can say shall because it will in some time it will be happen only. Okay. 
pilot in the aircraft is telling we shall be landing in Colombo in 20 minutes. So in within 20 minutes they will land in the place called Colombo. So it is definite. Okay. Next, read each dialogue carefully. State the function of shall in each. Which dress shall I wear for the annual day fit? Asking a question for specific information. Because the answer will be one dress only. Shall we go to school together tomorrow? So this is a suggestion. This is a suggestion. Shall we have lunch now? This is also a suggestion. Yes. Where shall we go? So this is an to announce something definite. To announce something definite. Next, the chief guest has arrived. We shall start the meeting very soon. This is an to announce something definite. Let's sit in our places, shall we? Let's sit in our places, shall we? This is an suggestion. Okay. This is a, sorry, this is a to ask question for specific information. To ask question for a specific information. Okay. In, the moder in modern English, shall is very rarely used except to give strict orders or to forbid something. Forbid means to stop something. You shall not fly over the forbidden forest, Mr. Wizard. So it is a warning or you can say an order. That you cannot, you shall not fly over the forbidden forest. Someone is giving order to the wizard. You shall not use your wand to harm anyone. This is also a strict order and it is for stopping it. You cannot, you shall not. Okay. The word should is, is the past tense <coughs> form of shall and is frequently used in English for different functions. S some functions or should are given below. I feel lazy. I should exercise more. So I feel lazy. I should exercise more. It is talking to talk about the right thing to do. Should I go for a swim? This is to ask for advice. Should I go for a swim? Next, you shouldn't waste time to give advice. To take the national talent test you should register with the inspector of schools to give an official order. So, to ask about the right thing to do, to ask for advice, to give advice, to give an official order, we use should. Next example, we frequently use not with should. We can say should not or shouldn't. <clears throat> you shouldn't roam around that lonely place. <clears throat> So, this is a strict order that don't go. Okay. Should I or shouldn't I go for the for a violin class? So, she is asking permission. Should I go or shouldn't I go? Okay. You should not walk on the grass. This is prohibiting. It is stopping. You should not walk on the grass. Okay. Fill in the blanks with can, could, shall and should. Use not where necessary. We dash keep our environment clean. Should. We dash spit or throw garbage everywhere. We shouldn't. Your friend is telling you now. Dash you drive a car. Can you drive a car? You. I have not learned how to drive yet. I can't. <coughs> Shivani. Dash, we go on a vacation. It is asking, asking for a possibility. So, can we go for a vacation, Karthik? We dash, because I won't get leave now. We can't, because I won't get leave now. Amar, dash, you lend me your book. Can you lend me your book? Vinita, I dash, but you have to help me with my project. I can, but you have to 
help me with my project you will do with this one next match the functions of should and shouldn't with the sentences to talk about the right thing to do to talk about the right thing to do to ask for advice to give advice to give an official order you will read these things you will do by yourself because something you have to do by yourself these things you will do by yourself and i will send you the answers okay in the next class till the next class goodbye have a nice time but keep reading